document. You know that suspicion isn't a crime. We're in, we're in full uniform, Miss Lady. We're not going to go What do you mean, Miss Lady? She uniform? is not in full uniform. She has it on her phone. So her... what? I can get anything on my phone. She has her badge, her name. I don't care. She should have her badge around her neck. Give me oh, a oh, name. Oh. Okay, okay. And Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Can I get a supervisor? Call... If I if I call, can I dig in my pocket to grab my phone? Sure, you can get your supervisor as well. And... Okay, no, I want your supervisor. Oh, I don't. Well, can you call one? I don't have one on duty. What are you right now? Duty. Meet Officer Karen. She stopped these workers because they looked suspicious, and one wasn't wearing her ID badge. But as you can see, Officer Karen is clearly having a bad day, and she's about to make it all of these people's problem. But just watch Officer Karen's response when she walks away to radio in this guy's name. Make sure you tell him the right thing. You ain't doing nothing wrong. I know you're not. I'm I know you. I know you ain't doing nothing wrong, right? I'm not saying you're doing it. Right. You can cancel that. I didn't say you're doing anything wrong, but I want you hey. to identify yourself because you're going in and out okay. of all these buildings. Will, That's I'll, all I asked for, okay. right? Huh. Grab my. And then he's not in any of uniform, and she has no badge. Has she badge. has no badge, and she has no badge. Lady, where's the but badge? You're making I am not looking so, I'm, at phone. anybody's phones. I want a badge. Let's go. Let's I want go. a badge. Let's go. I want to go to jail. I want a badge. Because I'm looking. I, I want answer. a badge. I'm, I'm putting me in handcuffs. Let's go. I want a badge. I'm not breaking any law, Miss Lady. Now, these people are at work and they've offered to show her their employee IDs on their phones. And they aren't even breaking any laws. Officer Karen just thinks they look a bit out of place, and she's determined to escalate. Now let's get one thing straight. This situation occurred in Pennsylvania, a state that does not have a stop and ID law. You are not required to provide your name, address, ID, or immigration status to police in Pennsylvania just because an officer stopped you. Uh, 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 you have to be trespassing. To You're trespassing, it's private property. It's you private have property. Trespassed. You have to, to be, be trespassed. You the cop. You, you know the law. You are trespassing. It's private property. We're not trespassing. You have to be you trespassed. Are... Okay, so can we leave? No, we stay. Okay, we can stay. We can stay. So she's. Are we, are we being detained? Two seven seven two to two seven seven. So we are being detained. Are we being detained? I just want your so identification. We're being okay. Are we being detained? Give me your badges. If you can certainly yeah. show a badge. Do anybody you here you have a hostile? You are. Civil All I did was ask you for your okay. identification. So, How am I being hostile? Officer Karen won't directly tell these people whether they're being detained. And she won't even let them speak when she asks them a direct question. And remember, these workers have ID. It's just not in a form the officer feels like accepting right now. Did I, did I ask you for your, your just You protect the serving me. Can you please de-escalate? Yes. Can you please identification of where you people yes, work? Yes, I, I will give you my identification. I, I yes. will you? you. Okay, but That's before the law me. states, in order for me to identify to a police officer in the state of Pennsylvania, you have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, have committed no, a crime. No, no, no. Yeah. As long as there's a, suspicion. As long as there is a complaint, I have to get to the bottom of the okay, complaint. Okay, but Miss Lady, you don't so have... I don't know if anything is we going on. We have an appointment. I don't we came here for appointments. I don't know that. We're telling you. You came out. You came Wait, out. You can't can't out. Where, we don't have to give you. Go over that. We don't have to no, give you. No, you're not even talking to me like that, young lady. Was your identification? Allegedly, one of the first things they teach in police academy is de-escalation. How's that working here? Because not only is this officer wrong on the law, she's so angry that she tries to shut down this guy entirely. Now watch as these workers again offer to give the officer their supervisor's contact information, which is exactly what she was asking for just a couple of minutes ago. You like my, lumber, my lawyer's number? We can give you our supervisor. Is that what you would like? You can contact that supervisor. Like, that sounds like that was doing. Who you work for? That's all I'm asking. Uh, okay, right? my name so, is Jeffrey Geist. Right. I, I am not speaking to you. I'm talking I'm to speaking you. Speaking to you, I will be looking at you. Why are you so hostile, Miss Lady? You want to get, get mad at me? We recorded you get mad at me because you get mad at her. Yeah, it's pretty clear she doesn't care if she's being recorded. And Officer Karen knows her reasoning for this stop is falling apart because she'd have already acted on her suspicions if she actually had probable cause for trespass. Eventually, this guy realizes he's just having a circular argument, and he brings out something that really upsets Officer Karen: his constitutional rights. We don't have it over Okay. She does not well, have. how about she this? Does not Until have your supervisor be here, I'm going. In, I'm going to invoke my. Fifth Amendment. And now, if you want to arrest me, you can do that. I'm no, sorry you have to go like this. As well. But for a man that's protecting his rights, you don't need us. Okay, no, to plead the fifth because I have not committed a crime. I only answer when I commit a crime, Miss Lady. I have not committed a crime. All I'm asking you for is your ID. But I will okay. have to give that if I commit a crime. You so used to asking people. And guess what? That supervisor did eventually show up and ended up agreeing with the workers. Check this out. What up with you? What's your name and badge number? Because you are officer and you have to identify. You're fine. So you're fine. I have to identify the police on it. All right, and what's your name and badge? I actually don't have to provide that. It's part of the policy. I don't have that in my policy. 
Wait, 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 you're lying. You're lying. So you work for the, you the, you the large deal. So yes. Yeah, but he's counting. According to the <laughs> He said, I don't have to get that. Yes, they go. In the end, Officer Karen had no reason for her stop, and she knew it. The best defense she could offer is that it would have been so much easier if this guy had just submitted to her authority and not made such a scene. Yeah, he, Nope. <laughs> come on, I beat you like this, man. I'm very, I'm very adept in you. Uh, you can move with the law okay. space, so. Now, if you're going to add me on so Snapchat, if you're going to add me on Facebook or something like that, I'll be my name, but I'm not so giving you my name. Thing. It would have been, been so much easier. Yeah, but now y'all got us out here like we're the bad people. Nobody's saying that. But we're not the bad people. We're not the bad people. Saying so, saying that, so, the process is when I get the police. She don't want to call the police. Police. Constitutionalists. Okay, but now you're going to have to start all over. Whatever you're going to do, I'm not a different thing. Oh, I'm done now. This is an everyday occurrence in America, where police officers count on you trusting their version of the law. But as this guy makes perfectly clear, these are cops, not lawyers. Rack up a rare win for a guy who knows his rights. And this isn't even the craziest conspiracy theory Republicans have cooked up. Check out this video, where I break down all the details of the GOP's Hunter Biden bribery scandal. And leave a comment below, so you can let me know what I should cover next.